Hello, hello, friends. Welcome back to the Blushing Mint. This is Dion. I am happy to be back here crafting with you guys today. Um, still have nature's remedies on my desk here. Um, I've just been throwing in a few of the different things that we have made into these journals. Um, I haven't put anything in here permanently. Um, I'm just seeing what it seeing what it ends up looking like. So these are still on my desk here on my workspace. I'm going to set those aside and today we're going to do a couple different things. Um, we are going to make these cute um, simple double pocket um, double pockets here. I'm going to sew around this and then you'd have a pocket here and then a pocket here. And this is just made from some scraps that are on my desk. So we're going to make that one. And then we're also going to make this double and or triple pocket. Um, you can do it several different ways. I did a double here and um, I've just attached it on the one side. And then when it goes into the journal, it would look like this. And then we have a pocket here and a bigger pocket here and this would get glued down here this would get glued all the way over here and so that's a that's just a different um pocket and that's just made from um papers from the kit so i'm going to show you how i did that one we're going to make a couple different sizes of ones like that and we're just going to play with some pockets today. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everything is going great in your worlds. Um, and we are going to just get ready to play. So I had some double sided um, papers on my desk and I just cut them to a couple different sizes. Let me get this journal back out here and kind of show you. So this is just the base. And so like this would be a tuck and I would, um, glue here and here and this will become a tuck but we're gonna rip some other paper and make another pocket here so that it would be a tuck and a pocket and then this would be a second one they don't have to be the same size i literally just cut a piece of paper and what i ended up with is what i ended up with so that's how i ended up with those three from a scrap and so first of all let's do the double and or triple pocket. Um, let's do that. So I'm going to set these things out of the way real quick. And so I have um, a few pieces of paper from the kit. And these are the ones that I just printed on my presentation paper. And so let's make this be the taller tag. And um, so I want to have about a half inch on the side of this image. That's going to be my image. So what's my measurement there? If I take a half inch, so this is four. So that's going to make it, if I take a half inch off of at least either side, that should be about three and a half. And I want to fold it down so that I have um, a reinforced top on here. So I'm just going to fold it like this. And then I want to fold this side in about half an inch. And you could be real precise and you could use your scoreboards and all of those things, but I'm just not feeling it, guys. I'm just not feeling it. I'm not really, I'm not really feeling super fantastic, but I want to, my shoulder and my arm is just absolutely killing me, but I want to craft while I can still craft. So, um... <laughs> Let's just be real. That's the deal. So basically, I am just making um, what would kind of be like a gusset for our pockets. Um, and um, But I should fold straight. That's, that's important. Folding straight matters. 
Um, so yeah, so then I want to take and um, I want to trim my corners here because I don't want the bulk when I'm folding that into Okay, so this is the top of my pocket. Okay, so this is the top of my pocket. This is just reinforcement, so I'm just going to glue this, but I didn't need that extra bulk in the corners there when I glue it down. So just glue that flat here. Okay. Then that creates the gusset there, and then we'll fold up the bottom. create the bottom of our pocket and we do the same thing we just give this a diagonal cut here so we don't have that extra bulk and then when we do our pockets we always do the bottom over the sides and I just put a little dot of glue on each side here just to hold that in place for now okay so that is the taller of our pocket here all right and so then with another piece of paper we're going to make a narrower pocket so let's start here by just folding the top of a paper down All right, and now we don't want our pocket to be any wider than our pages. And we want it to be, so like if this is on this page and this was on this page, um, we we only have five inches. Our, our journal is only five inches wide. So um, our pocket can't be any more than that. So I'd say if we have like about an inch over here, we don't want our pocket to be more than four inches wide. So um, that would be about, if we cut this at five inches wide or a little under, never hurt anybody in my opinion. So we're going to go four and three quarters just because we can. Okay, so if that's the top, I'm just I'm just playing friends right now so if this is our top pocket how what how high how high is this pocket we'll just make it exactly the same ish within a general within a general area here there is no precise measurement on this um, this is just kind of a free-for-all it was just something I was thinking about a different way to um, use pockets and whatnot in our journals, but um, without just having the same old standard everyday old pocket, 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 this is, this is a different idea. So we're going to fold in about a half inch, quarter to a half inch, three eighths, whatever it ends up being here on either side. Okay, so if this is the top of our pocket, we want to get rid of the bulk on both the top and the bottom. And we fully glue down this top to reinforce the top of our pocket. Just be, and you wouldn't have to do this necessarily if this was made out of cardstock, but because this is just made out of presentation paper, um, that's why I am reinforcing the top of those pockets. And let's face it, it never hurts to have a reinforced pocket. And then this is our bottom. Um, that bottom is a little, a little wide. I don't need it that wide. So I'll just cut that down. And then we just put that dot of glue here and here. Okay. 
and that just keeps that pocket. And then these are what gets glued into our actual book. Get rid of some scraps here, friends. Um, I thought at first it was just my carpal tunnel that was killing me, but mm, yeah, definitely something more than that. Okay, so then this is that pocket. Now we want to cut out our little notch in the center of our pocket here, or center-ish of our pocket. And we're going to... Uh, ink because I like to ink inking never hurt anybody to my knowledge I don't think so we're going to ink and I just like the way it looks so that's how it is so how is everybody what's going on in your guys's worlds What's happening? Anything exciting? Anybody got anything exciting happen? I don't really have anything exciting happening. I really don't. Okay. Oh, whoops. I needed that again. I need to do my little thumb notch here. In this one. And don't know what I was thinking, putting my ink pad away. I wasn't thinking, friends, or I was thinking, but I wasn't in the moment. Maybe that's what it is. I was thinking, but not in the moment. That happens to me a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay. All right, so then, now, I, in order to glue these in the right width, I need to have a page. And so if I have this one like this, I want this one to be an opposite. And so, I'm actually, because I don't want, so do you see what's happening here? This says dill, but when I put my pocket on here, in order to stay within the width of the page, it gives me the word ill, and I don't want that. So I'm going to move it over a little further and um, move it down something like so. And then I'm just putting my thumb nail about where I want, I don't want my glue to come any further than that. And I'm just only gluing this one flap here because that is all that is going to be used. That's all that needs to be glued right now. Um, otherwise, until we're ready to actually decorate and put these into our journal, um, and then we'll come back in and all of these other portions are getting glued. We don't want to glue the whole pocket because we need to be able to have access here. So it's going to look like this. And so that, say this was a two-page spread or whatever that we were putting these pockets on, um, that's what it would look like. And I I love these. These are just super cute and they're made from a page from the kit. So there we have those so that's a quick and easy pocket idea 
and um, you could you could narrow this up and you could narrow this up further you could add another one on the bottom you could layer another one over here I mean there are a bunch of ways that you could add additional pockets um, and other things so like if we had it like this and then you could turn around and you could put a full five inch wide um, let's see say like this you could have this here and then you'd have pocket 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 I mean so many options that you can do with this just using the papers from the kit and um, just remember to reinforce I forgot to do it on this one but on the rest of them I remember to reinforce the tops of my thing I could add some washi tape or something in here if I wanted when the time comes so there's those two now let's create a couple of these so for these, like I said, I just, um, I just grabbed some scrap, um, papers that were in my, that were in my bin here. And I like to say they're scrap papers, but my bin is full of like, my scrap bin has pages that I have. Um, ripped out of paper pads, but may not have used them. And then, um, rather than putting them back into the paper pad, um, I just put them in my, in my scrap bin and then I can use them for other things. So I cut out a few, um, different shapes and whatnot. I rounded the corners on these two. Oh my goodness. I rounded the corners on these two so they could be like, they're not the same size. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. So I thought I might because I don't like bugs. Mm -mm, no bugs for this girl. So I thought I would just maybe take this one and rip some out here, rip across the top in a random fashion doesn't have to be precise doesn't nothing just rip and go here and um, and I may prefer yep because um, because I do have this rounded and so that means this is going to be the this is going to be like the fold of the journal. I do want that to be that side. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go like this ink. <sighs> ink, ink, ink all the way around. Ink this one. And then I'm going to sew around these, but this is, this is something you can easily do with your scraps. Um, or you could do this with like paper pads that you normally won't reach for, like they're no longer your style or something like that. Um, this is a good way to use up some of those papers like this. Yeah, I wouldn't, I don't know what I would use that for. So, all right. So then... We are just gonna glue this side here. Not all the way down, because I don't need all that length. I ripped it a little tall. Okay. And then we're gonna Cut off any excess here. And then we can glue the rest of it on. So then we glue the bottom. And the side. Like so. Mm 
All right. And then we want to ink these corners here, and then we'll sew around this as well. So I'll set that there to sew with, and then let's do this one here. Um, let's do a little piece of yellow. Like this cut right down this little line right here it looked like look at that cute ink it up ink it up ink it up yeah so these are just and then you can decorate these with elements from the kit, um, with just any anything you want. Your little embellishments, or you can leave them just as they are. They're cute. They don't need a lot of extra embellishment. So two sides in the bottom here. My dog is snoring underneath my desk. It's hard times being a being a craft dog. He's got a he's got a rough life here, friends. This happened to hang out in the in the craft sheds hard for a dog like him. All right. Ink around here as well. Okay, I'm going to sew around these real quick, and then I will come back and show you. And that is going to be a quick way to make um, a few extra pockets to go in our journal. Or in our journal. So um, give me just a second, and I will be right back, friends. Please don't go anywhere, because I will. I'll come back, I promise. Okay, friends, I'm back. I promised you I would be. I hope you didn't miss me. Um, so, oh, I just dropped the foot pedal to my sewing machine. Um, yep, that's what kind of mess I am. So I went ahead and I just sewed around um, just the exterior of um, edges of these. And so that gives us um, a pocket here. And then we would have the tuck behind here, pocket here. Um, but I, I love how easy these are, and they can just be thrown in um, to our journals. Same thing here. I just sewed around the exterior, and we'll have a pocket here, and then we have that front pocket there. And so those are super easy, made from our scraps. And then we also have our double pockets here that would go into our journals, and we'd have um, a pocket here. And we have a pocket back behind. So those are a couple quick projects um, that we can do using our scraps and just using pages from the kit um, to create some additional ephemera to put inside of our journals as we get going on these. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um, relatively quick, I think super easy um, project. Um, but they're going to be very impactful once we get them going into the journal. So I thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please, please, please give me those thumbs up. I really um, would appreciate the thumbs up um, on the on YouTube. Give me that thumbs up. Always give me your comments below. I love to read them, and I do try to respond back. And if you do like what I'm doing, please share my channel um, with others. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Also, I have lots of new subscribers, so if you are a new subscriber watching, hello, hello. Thank you, thank you for being here with me. I truly appreciate it. So until the next time, friends, please take care of yourselves. Find time to craft.
and um, do the things that make you happy. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Until then, friends, take care. Bye-bye.